Hello everybody and welcome to Advanced Maths where today we're going to be talking about optimization. Optimization is really important in maths and it's how you find uh, how to maximize or minimize something and that has a lot of applications in the real world. So we use differentiation to find when something is a maximum or a minimum. At a maximum or minimum the derivative is zero. So you can see this picture over here, I've got a maximum at the peak here and a minimum uh, at the trough. And if you were to draw a line here as a tangent at either of these two points, the gradient will be flat, it will be zero. So the gradient will be zero, therefore the derivative will be zero. So always to maximize, minimize something, you make the gradient zero. And then we use a second derivative test to find whether something is a maximum or a minimum. Once we have a point, we do a second derivative test to see whether it's a maximum or a minimum. If the second derivative is more than zero at that point, it's a minimum. If it's less than zero at that point, it's a maximum. And we can continue with an example. So here we have y equals 2x cubed minus 3x squared minus 12x minus 1 and we're asked to find the turning points of the curve and their nature. When it says find their nature it means to see whether they're a maximum or a minimum. We've got y equals 2x cubed minus 3x squared minus 12x minus 1 and we differentiate that and it becomes 6x squared minus 6x minus 12. If you don't remember this, you need to re-watch my video on the basics of differentiation before we continue. Now, because we want to find the turning points, we make that equal to zero. And now, we have a quadratic equation. We use a quadratic formula to solve this. And we get x is minus 1 and x is 2. We now know the 2x coordinates. Now we need to find the corresponding y coordinates. And to do that, we substitute these numbers into the original equation for y. Substitute, substitute, we get y equals 6 and y is minus 21. This makes the co two coordinates minus 1, 6 and 2, minus 21. Make sure these are the right way around. If you do, if you do mix up the x and the y coordinates, the coordinate pair won't be correct. Now we know the coordinates, let's find their nature. So we've already differentiated it once, let's differentiate it again to find the second derivative and do the second derivative test. We substitute the x coordinate, x equals minus 1, and we get this is minus 18, and therefore it's less than 0, it's a maximum. Then we substitute x equals 2 in, we get positive 18, and we get a minimum. Now we know the two coordinates and whether they're maximum or minimum or not. The first co coordinate pair is a maximum, second one is a minimum. We continue and you can have some practice. Feel free to watch the video again and make some notes, but when you're ready, you can try this question on the screen and see if you can find the two turning points of this curve and find the nature of these turning points. Pause the video now. And you can continue in three, two, one. Here we are. We've got the maximum is zero, one, and the minimum minimum is eight minus two four six. Did you get it right? Let me know in the comments. And that's everything for today from Advanced Maths. I hope you learned something about optimizing a curve. Have a good day. And please remember to comment, share with your friends, and subscribe. Bye for now.